want to talk a little bit about just-in-time presentation skills. In the real world, we have people walk into our office saying, I need you to present on this either in half an hour or an hour or tomorrow, or I want you to present somebody else's information. And it can be a scary process. And I want to give you my example. And that is going back to March of 2002. And I was sitting in my office on a Friday afternoon. It's about 3 o'clock. And I'm having a really bad time. I'm a risk engineer. The company's just had a huge accident, a $30 million accident where a gas turbine engine has blown up. It's, it's thrown its guts. And it's a huge loss for the company. It's only three months old. Right next to it is an identical gas turbine generator. It is at a time when it's in the summer months. And it's at the time when electricity prices are really high. This thing is making about a quarter of a million bucks a day. Nobody wants to shut down that second one. And I, as the risk engineer and the mechanical integrity expert for the company, I'm having a hard time convincing people we need to shut this sucker down. And shortly afterwards, I'm sitting in my office, 3 o'clock, 3.30, my boss walks into my office and he says, OK, We've got to go up to the president of the company. He's asked us to go up there to meet with him and his staff. And we have to convince him to shut this gas turbine down. And he said, we're going to be up there in half an hour. I need you to put together a brief presentation, gather your thoughts as my technical expert, and, and let's see if we can, uh, we can succeed. I work on my desk, put together my thoughts. And about a half an hour later, we're walking towards the elevator. And my boss, who's a really nice guy, he says to me, Dave, I've got to be really upfront with you. We're probably both going to get sacked today. <laughs> OK. <laughs> He's over 60, waiting for a package. He, he, he was ready for retirement. This was not going to be a bad day for him. <laughs> the Irishman here, I'm on a work visa. <laughs> Do you know what happens if you're on a work visa and you lose your job? You go find a new country. You got to sell your house and find a new country. This was kind of an important presentation for me. <laughs> I went up to the executive conference room, and there was the president of the company. And he was old school, bulldog of a guy. If he didn't like what you were saying, he sacked. He was known. He was sacking people on the spot. I arrived in the uh, the conference room. All his staff were looking at their shoes. I knew heads had already started to roll. I gave my presentation, I was shouted at, I was screamed at, I was challenged, I was felt to make, made to feel small, but myself, my boss, we walked out of there. And the good news is, we didn't get sacked, and that night they shut down the second gas turbine engine. I want to give you a little idea of the process I used for this presentation. And I basically did some simple mind mapping. I wrote down in a full sentence, OK, what am I going to be talking about? And the second gas turbine has a high probability of failing catastrophically. And I want to have three sub points on it. Our insurance carriers, they'd been down there. They pulled coverage. They had a similar concern. The second gas turbine is exactly the same mic and model and age as the one that had failed. And the third thing is, you know, as a company, we boast about our safety culture. That was the other thing I wanted to talk about. Then I thought about, OK, well, how can I illuminate these points? I talked about a previous incident we'd had where a similar machine uh, had blown up. And what did we see? Our deductibles went up 500%, and our premiums went sky high as well. The second gas turbine. The insurance carriers had previously presented to us and, and let us know that most of the manufacturers, they make changes, but they don't test the changes. They use the customers as guinea pigs. There is actually only one gas turbine manufacturer out there that does the tests before they deliver it to customers. And the also the thing I wanted to talk about was that previous incident where we had, it was actually a steam turbine generator came apart. We had two people that were supposed to be up beside the steam turbine generator when they were shutting it down. For some reason, they decided to go and do some training in the control room as it was being shut down. And that was the only reason that they survived. This thing blew up. 
it threw shrapnel hundreds and hundreds of feet, including a shaft that was about two foot diameter. There was a huge fire because it was a hydrogen cool generator and a big oil fire as well. So these are the things I wanted to talk about. And then I, I looked at this and I said, okay, well, what do I want to talk about first? Okay, I want to talk about my main point. I'm going to start off then, I'm going to get into the insurance carriers. I'm going to talk about being the same make and model, 